Thank you to PayPal Honey for sponsoring this video. What going on everyone? It's me, Alex the Rambler, and today we're back on Hearts of Iron 4 and continuing the Z to A series, the most unique series to ever grace the Hearts of Iron 4 space. <laughs> Now, if you missed the very first episode of Yunnan, make sure to just go check that out after this one if you want. Also, let's get it all out of the way. Liking, commenting, subscribing, all of that stuff, it's more important than ever uh, <laughs> uh, for the channel. So if you wouldn't mind engaging with it, if you're enjoying the content or any of the previous library on the channel, please, please do show your support. It's free and it helps keep me going and the channel. And also, 50% uh, of you still aren't subscribed, so if you could do that, click the bell, then you might have like a 20% chance of seeing the video in your feeds, which is better than a 5% chance, you know, right? Anyway, on my descent to madness, I've loaded up a mod that I didn't mean to. Well, this is embarrassing. I'm not meant to be doing this mod just yet. Luckily, test, 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 test. <laughs> I guess if you want to see the Shattered World mod, let me know. All right, here it is, Yugoslavia. We start off with Prince Paul, and this actually has a custom focus tree in the base game. I think Death and Dishonor, I believe this was released with. Yeah, the second DLC. Yugoslavia came into existence after the new state of Serbs, Clotes and Slovenes merged with the formerly independent Kingdom of Serbia in 1922. Initially, Yugoslavia joined both the Little Entente and the Balkan Pact to secure their independence, but recently the assassination of King Alexander? Oh no. Okay, so we have Serbian general staff, we also have uh, Croatian opposition. Why would they join if they didn't know? Anyway. And we have anti-German military. And we've got various routes we could go down. Now, this isn't one of the newer focus trees, so the content in this is a little out of date nowadays. But why don't we do historical for this bad boy? And just so you know, I could do the whole series in Iron Man. For the challenge. So we know. You know I'm definitely an Iron Man, and we're even going to keep it in the loading screen, so you know I'm not cheating, okay? Look, here we go. Save and play. And do 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 There we go. So you know I'm in Iron Man now, okay? Look, and achievements are available. There we are. Not that I'm really aiming for achievements, I, 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 just so you know. So we start off with 22 divisions. I presume most of them are unequipped because, yeah, why would they be? Why why would you have a military without without weapons, you know? I feel like just going down the route that I've never really done before, and I think that's devolution, not evolution. But yeah, like just getting rid of everything. All right, let's do the Western focus. So we'll get King Peter. The king to Yugoslavia's feud. The key, not king. The key to Yugoslavia's future lies with the powers in the West, who are... Yeah, okay, we know, we know, we know, we know what happens here. And we'll just start to get to, get to work on a couple of factories, shall we? Now, I'm not really sure what path to take to, 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 to have a hope of success as Yugoslavia, especially when it comes to, to, in terms of equipment, because we do not start with a very good military industry at all. So I, I presume we'll just have to build these three and we also don't have a lot of resources either oh all manpower wow it's really horrible the starting situation here uh, it, it, better than yunnan better than yunnan old yugo but we will just uh we'll, we'll, we'll focus we got prince paul but we're getting king peter extra bit of stability hey eh? why don't you let me know in the comments what nation you're looking forward to in z to a which one will make me lose my sanity even quicker what do you think or did i lose it a long time ago <laughs> And now for some words from today's sponsor, PayPal Honey. PayPal Honey is the number one shopping tool in America. It's a little button at the top of your browser that could help to save you some money. I know I always get a little thrill when I have a coupon code that works, but with PayPal Honey, you don't even need to worry about that. It will automatically search for promo codes, so you don't have to. Whether that might be shoes, video games, food delivery, or anything your heart may desire. Did I mention it's free? I must have done. I must have done. And you can get it for free. You can add it to your browser right now by clicking on that link in the description or going to joinhoney.com slash Alex the Rambler. And that's how you support the channel. So if you don't have honey at the moment, why not? It's free and could save you money. So thank you once again to PayPal Honey for sponsoring today's video. It's sponsors like PayPal Honey that really do help keep the channel going. So if you can, click on that link and potentially save yourself a little money. I would like to do limited self-government and just um, just have autonomy everywhere. Just absolutely, I don't know, just, just make a big old mess of it. Go to partial mode straight away. I don't know if that'll do much for my factory count. 
It increases it. I'll take it. Just cutting the size of my military in half as I'd rather have a small but well-functioning army, uh, especially with this um, field marshal here. And probably having some, uh, yeah, some mountain divisions would probably be quite helpful. Wouldn't they? Eh? Not that I can design any divisions at the moment. What am I doing? Stop being a silly sausage, Alex. Focus on industry to begin with. We need industry. We need strong industry. And I'm not sure I've ever gone down this route, potentially, of uh, reinforcing old alliances. What, re what, what focus did I just do? Oh, you plonker. That was a waste of 70 days. I didn't really need to do that. Oh, silly, silly sausage. But it doesn't matter because I'm not, I'm not a meta player, am I? I'm just a nice, chill, happy-go-lucky fella that rages when he loses. No, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm chill now. For now. Ooh. Yeah, I'll embargo Italy. Why not? You can't buy from me. Oh, wow. Italy's embargoed by most nations. Oh, my giddily. Gi oh, that's because they have been fighting in Ethiopia for almost a... Oh, dear. Good for me, though. A weaker Italy increases my chance of survival. Just a smidge. Civilian or military? I, I do need equipment. And I feel like the civilian industry, we don't have that long before Italy might get illusions of grandeur. So I'd rather focus on getting some guns. And ships! And so the tide shifts! Maybe some trains too. I think it's a bit too early for breaking out into song. The hills are alive with the sound of Yugoslavia. There we go. Angelic. I'm sure you'd all agree. Oh, there we go. They finally did it. They finally did it. Not before they <laughs> just got embargoed by everyone. <laughs> I think I need trucks. Cars aren't a thing in Yugoslavia. We don't know what they are. Okay, now we're locked out of the rest of the tree until we get rid of Croat opposition. So I'll reinforce old alliances. I, I should read it out. Let's roleplay. Since the inception of our nation, we have enjoyed the support of the great European democracies of France and Great Britain. It is time to solidify these relationships in preparation for future alliances. Limited conscription. Nope, don't need it. I've got 100k manpower in the... T Oh, I'm going to free trade and just trade a couple of uh, factories of France. I know that's maybe not the most optimal route um, because there's no guarantee that we're actually going to sell any of our resources. Oh, just kidding. No, no, we're doing okay. We got, we're exporting some of that and no one is buying our chromium. Please, <laughs> buy us a chromium. Yeah, I reckon defense here. Although superior firepower is a doctrine I'm kind of okay with. Although grand battle plan to just entrench. I prefer a little bit more attack, I think. Attacking while we're defending. I... Nope. Attract ally capital, reduce our consumer goods. Very nice, very nice. We've long been allies since before the First Great War with Britain. Let's attract investors. Bomber. Imagine, imagine going as an air focus as Yugoslavia. When, will, when are you ever going to have that opportunity? I would love to, but I've got other things to focus on, such as... Maybe getting anti-air. A little bit of anti-tank too, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Probably 10 whip mountaineers is probably all I, is, is what I can realistically afford. So let's try and um, get those out. Should be enough to hold against Italy at least. I would also like to stick anti-air in every division, but I need to get a surplus of it first. We're not even... Yeah, we're only producing like two a week. But I'm producing it now. We've got two years. You can't see me, but I'm raising my hands up in the air. Like, I just don't care. Thank giddily goo. I don't have to be in this area for a... Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, here we go. Limited self-government. Why not? Let's just let's just release everyone. So I don't know how this playthrough is going to go. In fact, this is what I love. Uh, still, yeah, screw it. I can be proud of myself. I am very happy with the way that uh, I, I kind of record videos because I, I go in with, a, with, an, a, with an overall sort of an idea of what I'm going to do. But I don't practice it ahead of time, which I know for some people can probably be frustrating where you see like a considerable amount of losses on the channel, I guess, compared to other creators. But I don't care. It's fun for me. And getting that success after a couple of videos of failure is incredibly satisfying. So I don't really mind if I lose scenarios as long as I know I've had a good time. I think that's the main thing. I know some of you would all like to you know, watch meta people. And, and those creators are out there. But if you're looking for someone that just wants to have a bit of fun, that's me. Dissolve the Banat of Serbia. Do, 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 do. Whoa. Oh my. So we can either do Devolved Croatia, a United Autonomous Croatia. That removes Macedonian. Okay, yeah, let's do a Devolved Croatia. Go on then. In the opposition of the Union, none are more vocal than the Croats. Currently, Croatia is divided between the Banat of Sava in the north and the Banat of Littoral in the south. If we grant the Banats individual autonomy, we can soothe them. 
a little bit of soothing. And that might also... Oh, is there any even factory? Did I lose any factories here? No, they have zero factories. <laughs> okay, so they're a pointless nation, Drava Bavonia. Why did I research survivability? So I still have brain farts when playing this. How long? When did it come out? 2016. I've been playing this game for seven years and I still have brain farts. Seven years of brain farts and many, many regular ones could protect Bosnia. But I'm going to dissolve the Banat of Serbia. Sure, why not? Unless that's going to mean that I no longer have these factories, in which case I'm actually going to cry. Then I won't be able to produce anything. Please, let me keep Serbia. What do you all think of the focus trees? Is there one you want to see updated? Um, I am looking at the comments more and more nowadays, by the way, so if you do post one, there's probably a chance I'll see it. Go for a defensive doctrine, I think, because I'm going to be on the defensive most of the time. We can just hunker down in the mountains. All right, so what just happened to my nation? <laughs> I can take all their forces too, so that's nice. There are cultural and religious divides across the landscape of the Bosnian region. The only way the region can properly be defended if it's partitioned appropriately. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> this is probably the most cursed Yugoslavia you're ever going to see. I'm just creating... The modern day nations, I guess. Am I just going to have Serbia left by the end? This bloke doesn't even have a, a custom... Oh, wow. Do I still hold all the factories? I think I... No, I did lose. I did lose factories, right? Yes, I did. Oh, no. Yeah, don't do this route. Would not recommend, if I'm honest. Uh, so far. That might change. That might change. I may change my mind. Bosnia is now divided. Uh, Banat for support. It's no secret that the Hungarians and Romanians seek to annex northern Serbia with the lack of foreign support of our state. We could see these territories. I could either, I could also fortify Banat. Do I want to defend Banat? Where are you, Banat? Come to me. There it is. There's Banat. Uh, there's no factories. There's just 600,000 people there. Autonomy. Go on, then. This looks disgusting, doesn't it? This looks absolutely... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's two more little nations. Oh, my days. Uh... <laughs> I've never done this focus tree. I've done the United Kingdom before, but I think I might do the Yugoslav Defense League and just, <laughs> just you know what? This is great for me and and this series. Just doing focus trees that I've never tried to do. Now that we have dissolved the Union into a series of autonomous states, we must take the next step: independence. Hmm. No. No. I. I could still sign the Tripartite Act at the moment. Really? So I can do part of this tree to get rid of all the negative debuffs and then I can go down and sign the Tripartite Act if I wanted to. Screw it. To port towards independence. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. This may go down in history as potentially one of the worst Yugoslavia playthroughs on online. Tell you what, giving away all of my factories has completely ruined my industry. Regrets. I have a few. And now I face the final curtain. But... I've made everyone around me happy, which is what you want, really, isn't it? The Defense Army of Yugoslavia, here we go. To fight for our union is a difficult thing to ask of the average citizen, but to fight for one's home is every man's duty. With the promise of independence on the horizon, our union is overflowing with men willing to fight our enemy. All they need is government support. Okay. I uh, create a Serbian unit. Uh, disable editing, create... Uh, uh, sure. Code anti-air. Is that enough to get them in the divisions now? I hope so. Oh, have I even made any trucks? Oh dear. Oh no. Oh, balls. I've only forgotten to go and make some truckies. The Yugoslav Defense League. Here we go. Balkan Defense League. Yeah! We create a Serbian unit on Moravia. The Bonovian. The Bonovian. And editing. You can't edit the defense leak. Well, how do I recruit those? I mean, that's not a bad. <laughs> it's okay. The members of our state have been granted levels. Great levels of autonomy. All that remains is the first step. The final step. By officially recognizing the independence of all Balkan nations, we shall turn Yugoslavia from a nation into an economic and military cooperative of many nations. I've created a Yugoslavian European Union. Yugoslavian, U a, a united, I've, cre I've created a Balkan Union. The Union, the, it's the Balkans. Okay, so we now have created the Yugoslavian Defense League. The Balkan Defense League. Ba, 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 ba. So they're all independent now, right? Yeah. So I'll have no control. Oh, this is a horrible, okay. Uh, ooh, should I end the Regency? 
and then I can do a royal wedding. Ooh, okay, so Prince Paul has served his duty to the crown long enough. With war on the horizon, our people need to see the king stand against the fascists and communists. I agree. I can't believe I actually did this. This is the worst idea I think I've had in a while. And if you're seeing zero manpower now, I'm thinking, why aren't you changing your economy law? I can't. Okay. Then once uh, I've done the regency, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh... When will he lose underage monarch? When do you become of age? I made a mistake. Well, let's see if we survive. Let's expand the university. I'm not I'm not going to invest in Turkey. You what? No Turkey. Any peep show fans out there? Uh, if you want to an update on the situation, Japan is doing less damage than they were doing when I was playing as Yunnan. Classic. 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 Then we also have Germany just gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> this, is just, oh, this is so gross. What have I done? What have I done? <laughs> Romania's guaranteeing me. Cheers, mate. Uh, no one else is. Non-aggression pact with Italy. I think I might live. I'm always a bit scared I'm going to get gobbled by Germany or Italy. I thought before Italy would have tried to do something. But maybe they're um, intimidated by me. I wouldn't blame them. Okay, I've gone off free trade now uh, as I'm getting the Serbian steel. So I won't need to bother trading with France. And I know my factories are just about up. Hmm... Probably try and do something about that because I don't really want to go fascist. I'll have to wait. Oh, I do local militias though. I need the extra. I need the extra recruitable pop. I just wish I could justify. I'm getting a little bit bored. I reckon I could take Italy with the Yugoslavian, the Balkan, the Balkan Defense League. I could disband the faction and try and join the Allies, couldn't I? If I kick, I could kick them all from the faction, conquer them all. But what's the point? What's the point? We've made our bed and now I'm going to sit in it. Well, there goes Poland. Do you want to join? Oh, no, they don't. You could have joined the Balkan Defense League, but no, I would have helped you, <laughs> sort of. Now that uh, these nations that have had focus trees added in the in the past, I'd say two years, uh, there's a lot more to it than the, than the trees from a few years ago. I mean, it would be nice if the devs could go back and kind of renew every focus tree, but I, I think that where the Hearts of Iron team is very small, that isn't pro probably isn't very feasible for them to do. Which is a shame, but I, I, I totally get it. You know, they've got limited resources and they need to kind of assign them to where they are needed most. Oh, look at that though. All of my troops are regulars. Okay, it looks like Germany's just invading everyone right now. Of course they are. It's GL money. I wonder how quickly France will fall. I'm guessing they're gonna fall very quickly. Well, can I nab Bulgaria while they're... I'll see. It will just be a cheeky one, okay? Just a little, just a little cheeky expansion because they are. It is Boris, and Boris, me. You know, is Boris a trustworthy guy? Is he? Boris the third? Yeah, I was right. They didn't last very long. Yeah, now we have a non-aggression pact with Italy. I can't cancel it until 1940. So in that time, I could probably take Bulgaria. I think because like we need to give it the good old rambler try, you know. Could I even add anything into these divisions? To what do I even have that's surplus right now? That's high in surplus. Artillery. We've got almost a thousand. There we go. Anti-air. I've got like 500 of them. But the piercing doesn't increase a huge amount, so I won't bother. Army maneuvers for sure, because when do we get our justification finished? Is it? Oh, it's 8th of March, 1940. If I don't call my allies in, how are they going to get to me? Hey, because I think I'm the leader of the faction. Toad anti-tank as well, so I guess I'll get those in. Poor anti-tank at least. Or if I just stuck them in here, does that help uh, the piercing a bit more? I mean, it does, 34 piercing, but I don't know that I'll have enough in stockpile. No, I don't have enough, but mm, that's all right. Woohoo! Da -da 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 -da. I think just push. Aggressive advances. I need to take Bulgaria quickly. I think taking Sofia would be a nice boon for me. Uh, soft attack for supporter companies or line artillery recovery rate. Let's do the line artillery recovery rate. Yeah, recovery rate's nice. We're obviously suffering for supply at the moment, but now we're at war. I can change this over to extensive conscription to replace our losses, because there will be many. Uh, supremacy of offense, because we have superior firepower on the go. But yeah, I think we're blasting through their defenses, just like my farts blast through the living room sometimes. I get bad wind, but I'm okay with it. Let's attack Plodiv from like three directions and soon to be four. This is, this is, yeah. Easy. Can I request garrison support? I can, but no one's going to help me because of course they're not. Yeah, they have no manpower either. Might This might be a problem if Romania joins the Axis, but so far I think it's just Germany and Italy. Ooh, 
and Hungary now. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. You want to join me, Romania? You're going fascist and I don't like it. I'm going fascist and I don't like it. I'll have to go for the democratic firebrand just to maintain some level of... Oh, could you imagine if I just erupt into civil war? <laughs> Legionary. Uh, okay, so now the whole block is complete and I'm feeling very surrounded. So, I guess I'll set up my defensive zone here. Because, quite frankly, screw anything else. This is, the, this is the only part of my country I need to defend, I think. You can root out resistance in Bulgaria, so we can keep the factories going while, while we can. I do feel a bit sorry for Romania when they get the Hungarian schlong in them. Bit rude, isn't it? Italy's lost Africa. I guess that's to be expected. And they're losing their mainland already. No one is going to war with me, so I feel like I'll just keep prepping until I can take someone. I'm not going to go after Greece. They wouldn't be happy with that. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> Here's me be like, oh, I've got equipment. Let's just spam units in my divisions. No, I can't do that, obviously, because I don't have any manpower. My manpower's lacking. I'm going to get myself a cup of... We're back with El Chonko. Praise it. Praise him. There's never actually been a name for the chonk. Feel free to suggest it in the comments. See what I'm doing? Giving you many prompts to engage the channel. <laughs> Oh, yes, because the Axis doesn't have a way through to Greece, they're really going to struggle to naval invade it, so... Uh, looks like our southern flank is going to be secure for basically the game? Maybe? I really have no idea, but this Yugoslavian Defence League army is getting better and better as, as the more time I have. I'm just hoping that they're just going to go after the Soviets, forget about me, and then I can just, like, ram Romania in the ass of their country. Sorry. Um, like, you know... They're, 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 they'll be thrusting through Bessarabia, and then I'll just be popping in. I'll just be, I'll be strolling to Bucharest. There we go. That's probably how I should have said it. Context is important, Alex. Do I even bother getting in it? Oh, did I already start with the basic airframe? Oh, hot diggity darn. Maybe I should have been getting those from the start. Uh, well, I've maxed out my slots in my nation, so maybe I'll just get anti-air now, just to make sure we don't get bombed to heck. Hey, look at that. This is a screen I haven't looked at before. What? When was this added? There's a fuel prioritization that I've never used. Oh, you silly sausage. 51 piercing in our divisions. I don't think that's terrible. I don't know if that... I, 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 I'm not sure if that's enough to pierce like a German... Te well, I think it can definitely pierce that. <laughs> but uh, maybe not a medium. What's the, Where's the little medium? Yeah, I think we'd struggle to pierce that one. Do we still have underage monarch? Yeah, he is. When does he come about? Is it 41? I've already forgotten with Peter. Pita. Italian sponsored rallies in the capital. Send in the police to bash some heads. Bah. I'll never back down to you, Italy. You and your pitiful little bend. I'm Serbia, don't know. Well, I'm Yugoslavia. I'm the Balkan Defense League. I like how this is meant to be a Yugoslavia playthrough, and I, the very first thing I did was like, mm, nope. I've got all the time in the world, Germany, if you don't want to attack the Soviets. That's fine. That's fine. Totally fine. So the UK trying to launch a... Ah-ha! Here we go. In July. Will they be able to make it to Moscow by winter? Hmm. So it looks like um, they're having a little bit of trouble expanding as quickly as they wanted to. In fact, their casualties are going oh, very nicely. Wow. Yeah, I think Germany attacked a little bit late. They're... Oh, Italy too. There's only... That's not a lot of divisions, Italy. I wonder... It's probably too early. I'm going to wait till, like, 1942. Wait until the Axis has kind of exhausted a lot of their manpower, uh, a lot of their firepower. Oh, and King Peter comes of age. Okay, lovely jubbly. Um, that's, that's pretty nice. Although he's gone from, like, 10 years old to 50 in the span of a, a year. And the USA is in the war, too. Lovely. You love to see it. And it, oh, it does look like the Soviets are getting a pushed a little bit more. Oh, dear. I mean, that's good for me. Oh, my goodness! Germany's taken 1.4 million casualties. Whoa! Everyone just gave me planes for free. Can I get some more? How many planes did I just get? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's nice. Okay, let's have a royal wedding. Oh, no, I should probably have the coronation first. There we go. Our people have long been without the king, and it is time we made a show of the perpetuity of the crown by crowning our king in the cathedral of the White City. Are we in Gondor? We shall grant our people the assurance that the crown is eternal and shall not fall to foreign invaders. I was hoping they'd push a little bit beyond that, beyond what they're currently doing. They haven't even taken Minsk yet. Oh, Germany, what is? what are you doing? This is disgusting. What? has happened has germany just been completely nerfed look at their casualties it's only 41 oh. ah here we go here's where the fun begins if hungary is deciding to justify on me the gits 
the Soviet Union's naval invaded. That's really embarrassing. It's like watching a multiplayer game. I rewatched one the recently where um, the worst Axis ever 2.0, where I think uh, Braun was na uh, was uh, power dropped in Bulgaria and he didn't have any garrisons. <laughs> Oh, anyway, a royal wedding. Royal marriages have long been a way to secure alliances. Oh, the Groves Nagala. Who wants to seduce little Peter? Hold the phone here. Did they leave the faction? Since when did Croatia join the Axis? We have been betrayed. Okay, let's see what's going on. Um, our attache... They're declaring war on me, right? And they want me to remove my attache? Uh, go do one. Oh my goodness. The Soviet tanks are all equipped, and the Germans are just... <sighs> They have no equipment. Oh, mate. Oh, this is embarrassing. All of their divisions are just without anything at the moment. So Croatia, I gave them independence and they joined the Axis. And I'm not really happy about that. So 125 days, I'm reclaiming it. Ah, the Groves Nagala. Um, Prince Alexandria of Greece. Hello, my dear. A royal alliance. I think we kind of know at this point that they probably won't try and naval invade. I mean, if they do, it's, it's kind of whatever, but... I have so much equipment. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous! It's absolutely gorgeous! Glorious, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm just gonna go take a look and see what Japan's up to. Oh, they've almost finished China. And yeah, they're doing their invasions. Is it just China that needs to fall here? Or do the rest? It's just China. China, would you like some guns? Send you 20k. Just casually throwing equipment at them. Uh, I presume we'd be at war with the Axis then. I'm gonna wait until... Screw it, no. The time is now. I think my division should be a match for theirs. I still can't see what's going on in the air though. Like, it's frustrating. Oh, well, I have superiority in the air. They haven't sent a single plane down. But now I can hopefully change to service by requirement and also go to war economy. And I don't know if this is gonna help, but... I'll send my little navy out to convoy raid. Not that that's going to do a whole lot, but whatever. Am I piercing their divisions, do you think? I've got 600 defense. We've got a base hard attack of 94. They are having a base hard attack of 6. Uh, yeah. This division can deal 100% of their damage through their... Yeah, so I can pierce the German panzers. Well, I mean, I do have 600 anti-tank, I think. And what's the piercing here? The piercing is... 60. So I guess they don't have 60 defense, so that means how many... Have I taken out any tanks? Let's see. 13! There we go. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah, Belgrade is worryingly close to being... Oh, why would you march everyone out of the tile, you absolute pillock? Are they on... Oh, God. No. This should never be on flexible cohesion. I think it should really be always... The default setting should be balanced in, in my opinion. Of course, what do I know? Okay, okay. It looks like the lines have stabilized a little bit. The Axis have stuck a whole lot of divisions on my border. So that means there's... I uh, guess we'll try and hold in Zagreb. I really need extra population. It's going to go to all adults serve. I know it's horrible, but I have no choice. Transylvania just calipulated. Calipulated? Calipulated. <laughs> hmm. I could have just not declared war and I'd be all right. But where's the fun in that? The Soviets could really be pushing, and they should be pushing. The Italians have even sent camels. Okay, I'm gonna have to redo this defense. Uh, this is looking really quite bad. Yeah, they're on the outskirts of Belgrade, and uh, my allies aren't bothering to put any of the... Oh. I just need my allies to hold the flank, but they're incapable of doing so. Uh, so eventually they're gonna get forced back more and more. Our front line's gonna get forced back more and more. This is going not how I wished tunnel tunnel vision to tunnel vision tunnel tunnel vision boo, boo, boo. if you grew up in the 90s you'd know chuckle vision in the uk at least i'm kind of showing my age a little bit it's impossible for me to do any offensives whatsoever just with the amount of troops that they're sticking on my border uh, although it it's not looking healthy for them really is it why has my front line extended down to here no 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 and even if we're being attacked from three different directions by M von Manstein, we're still holding because of our insane defense. Oh. However, I am losing troops little by little. I'm lacking about 20k. <laughs> uh, maybe if I could take some of my territory back a little bit, that might give me some recruitable manpower. But uh, we're kind of stuck on this river line for now. And here we're getting beaten back. Again, I'm not really sure how, just because of based on our defense... It's confusing. I don't really... And then... Again, they just try to counter-attack. It's very frustrating because it's... 
I don't want them doing that. And I'm going to have to go to scrape in the barrel. This is awful. This is really awful. I just locked an achievement. No country for old men. Is that good? Probably not. <laughs> yeah, we've lost 77,000, but we've killed... Eh, that's not a lot. Oh, there we go. We're second in inflicting casualties on the Germans. And second on Romania. We are doing our part. Uh, uh What? Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Oh, uh, they've got the port. They've got a port on the Japanese mainland. Uh. <laughs> oh, they, they've gone into Manchukuo too. What are the Soviets doing? Just going on an absolute lark. I mean, that is absolutely hilarious, really, isn't it? The fact that they're just storming through. Japan is having a pathetic game. I mean, so are the Axis, really. They haven't pushed out of <laughs> Poland pretty much the whole game. Oh, yeah. Farewell, Mussolini. And then it's going to erupt into civil war soon, I would presume. There we have it. The Italians are reclaiming their nation on bicycles, apparently. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't really see Mussolini surviving for very long. At least I hope not. It looks like they're trying to make a final uh, push to ooh, break me. And unfortunately, I'm a little scared now. But we've pushed them back and we've held once again. Oh my goodness, as soon as we get manpower, it's just... They've sent camels to me. You think camels are going to break the Balkans? Please just get... Get it, get it over and done with. Destroy Italy. Oh, Iceland's in. Okay, it's over. Game over. Uh, hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Japan uh, was capitulated. <laughs> oh, Soviet Japan. Well, okay then. I uh, I presume the Axis are gonna. Uh, what? Why are they in my faction? Are they my puppet? What? Okay, apparently I control Italy now. So that's cool. <laughs> Soviet Japan's naval invading. Okay, go on, Soviets. Do me a favor. Oh, they just need to lose like one more and then we're potentially safe. They've lost Bucharest. I'll be still my beating heart. Burgas, if that if they take Burgas, maybe? Hashvoko? Polest? Brasov? Oh! It happened. It happened. They did it. They did it. I have manpower all of a sudden. Oh, this has all been freed up too. Okay. Well, there we go. Now they're going to deorg themselves and we'll just destroy them. Lovely. Little by little, I'll get my nation back. See if I can get round to Sophia, maybe. Or if I can take this, I might be a nice encirclement. I know I could go for the big one there, but I'm just going to go for this little ditty one first. Try not to get over... Uh... Don't get cocky, kid. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Absolutely slaughtering them. Then I'll push up into uh, Sophia. There we are. We've got that whole Axis core and circle down in the south now. Lovely jubbly. See what I can do with a little bit of manpower and a dream? Crush them. Or just let them slowly die. Let them slowly suffer attrition. Oh yeah, you love to see that absolute destruction of an entire army core. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> They're almost at Berlin. Can I request all of your forces? Yes. Then I'm going to position all of your forces to take Milan. Okay, because I just want this over. Yeah, so I'm just getting them to attack with everything. Uh, I think that's even a free tile there. But yeah, okay, I can just can, can try and walk through to Milano. Yeah, we've done an encirclement. You know, it's not the uh, easiest playthrough I've ever done in the world. But uh, hopefully if we can take out Italy, then at last we can be reunited as one. Bam, Milan's taken. What else do they need to lose? I really need to take Torino. Berlin's gone. Ding dong, dickhead's gone, the dickhead's gone, the dickhead's gone. Is Mussolini going to outlive Hitler? Well, I guess we'll find out. The Soviets really have just won this game for everyone. I wish I'd join them now. <laughs> Aris has been liberated. Lovely stuff. Oh, okay. 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 Yet they still have the most divisions on my border. This is just ridiculous. Does the AI actually favour going after the human player? Do you think they'd be more concerned about trying to hold France and whatnot? <gasps> makeshift bridges. That's what I wanted. I have makeshift bridges. Finally, I've reclaimed some territory. Yes, let my manpower groweth. Oh, 100k manpower at last. Oh, yeah. We be bussing now, lads. We be moving. <laughs> With no fuel, but wait, who who's left? Oh, it is just Hungary needs to die. Time to die, Mr. Hungary. Push. To Budapest. Can we get the final capitulation of the game? Go on. Go on. Chad Yugoslavian division takes Budapest and ends the war. 
Single-handed. Single-handedly won the war there. Single-handedly. And... I wasn't even in the peace deal. And I now have three divisions. And I no longer am in a faction. And I lost my puppet. What just happened there? A little bit triggered that my whole army just died. And my manpower went to... What in the heck just happened? Well, that's a bit of a ball ache, isn't it? Damn. Gosh darn, Z to A is going to ruin my mind. But if you've enjoyed this, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another very soon. What's the next nation? Oh no, it's Yemen. <laughs> Many thanks to the Patreon cult leaders, Amazon Fulfillment Strategist, Dr. Fotska and Jack Troku. And many thanks to the Patreon champions, Chancellor64, Hegu, Jiggly Crotch, Kim Eric Carlson, Logan Whaley, Rick Baller, Vash, Wyatt Green, Zachariah Mosby, and Maximilian Foreman. And many thanks to all the other patrons too. You really do help keep the channel going. Thank you.